original MacBook Air, late 2008 through 2009 sound card replacement. When removing the rear access panel on this model, there are three different unique screw sizes. On the top left is a medium sized screw. And in the top right corner, there's also the same type medium sized screw. In the middle two top screws, they are the longer ones. So in total, there are two long screws in the middle top, two medium length screws on each of the top corners, and six very small screws going around the rest of the contour of the MacBook. Go ahead and remove the four medium and long screws up top first. Now go ahead and remove the six short Phillips head screws. You can now lift up the cover. Before you begin, start off by disconnecting the battery from the logic board. It's connected one simple connector switch. The battery is being held in with nine Phillips head screws in various sizes. Go ahead and unscrew those screws about five to seven turns each, but leave them in their perspective socket. This will make it easier for you to reinstall the battery without losing the screws. Once all nine are loose, go ahead and lift up the battery and move it over to the side. Sound card removal. Please note that the original Air and the late 2008 and 9 have two separate sound cards. Please note the part numbers. Begin by removing the two Phillips head screws that are securing the right speaker. The sound card is installed inside of the speaker assembly. Please also note that when replacing the sound card, you should also replace the sound card cable. You can detach the sound card from the sound card cable and replace the sound card if you specifically know that that is the only piece of hardware that's causing the issue. The sound card cable is partially glued to the case assembly. You can gently peel it off. The hard drive bracket is also pressuring and blocking the sound card cable onto the board. What you want to do is you want to remove uh, the hard drive assembly completely or you can just remove the uh, one screw near the fan. It's a Phillips head screw. Once removed, you can gently pry up the hard drive case assembly and then remove the sound card cable. Once again, it is highly suggested that when replacing the sound card that you replace the sound card cable as well. Sound card installation. With the sound card cable attached to the sound card, insert the speaker into its placement, then secure it with the two Phillips head screws. The long screw goes in at the top and the shorter screw goes in at the bottom. Put slight pressure on the sound card cable. Make sure to use the glue that was left over. Pry the hard drive casing and reattach it to the sound card cable socket. Now re-secure the hard drive bracket with one Phillips head screw near the fan. You can now attach the speaker to the USB cable. then reconnect the USB cable to the logic board. Battery reinstallation.
place the battery gently into its socket. Go ahead and secure the nine Phillips head screws. You can now go ahead and reconnect the battery to the logic board. We're ready to put back the main cover. Place the cover and cover the MacBook Air. Start off by first installing the two long middle Phillips head screws. Then the two medium sized Phillips head screws on each corner on the top of the MacBook. Now install the six short Phillips head screws going around the bottom contour of the MacBook. That's it, we're done.